Hi, in this video, I'm going to take a look at switching uh, from a network license to using a single user license. So for example, suppose my company bought a network license last year, an annual subscription, and that license is running on a license server and I'm connected to it using an environment variable, the old way of doing things. Um, so because this environment variable is set on my system, the license manager says, okay, use that if you want to change things. But I don't have to worry about changing things. Like I can't do it here, but I'd have to go in the system, but I don't have to care about that. I can just leave this connection and say, I'm not going to use it. I want to use my single user license. And now um, to save a bit of time, I already logged in uh, with my Autodesk ID and the Arnold License Manager has found, yes, you do have a single user license for Arnold 2020 or in other words, Arnold 6.0 and later. Uh, so I'm all set up to use the single user license. Now, before I started this video, I had done a render and it used that network license that I showed you. I can see this in the Arnold log. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is quickly just to prove that I've switched, even without exiting the license manager, I'm gonna launch a batch render, a Maya batch render from the command line. And I'll just pause it while it runs. It'll only take us 15 seconds. Okay, so that's done. And if I just scroll up, I'll see here authorizing with user, which means it's going to use my single user license and it found it and it did the render using that license. I mean, maybe an easier way to even do it without, it's always nice to see something rendered without a watermark, but you could just use the diagnostics. So if I go file diagnostics, it's going to run a test render, which is what is happening now. There, there it finished. So it used to kick the command line tool for Arnold. And here I have a, a much shorter log than I just showed you, but you can see the same thing. Auth yep, I used user and it authorized. So I confirmed that it worked. And that's it. I've switched to single user. If I need to switch back to a network licensing for some reason, maybe to use an older version of Arnold, just go switch to network licensing. And then the next render I did on this machine would use the network license instead.